In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you when is the best time to study to take your PMP exam or to take basically any certification exam. I'm Andrew Ramdio. I am the author of this book, PMP Exam Prep Simplified, Amazon's bestseller for the PMP exams. So if you wanna pass your PMP exam, get this study guide, it comes with a 35 hour class and so on. All right, let's get started in this video. So one of the questions I get asked pretty common, whether it's on LinkedIn or it's on the live stream, don't forget to join my every Tuesday night PMP question and answer live stream is when should I be studying for my exam? So let's do a quick video on it. Now, what I'm talking about is basically the time of day that you should be studying. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably study in the night. A lot of folks work all day long, eight, 10 hours a day. They probably leave at eight o'clock in the morning, come back home at six in the afternoon, which is a 10 hour span. They gotta take care of their children. They gotta take care of home duties, like making dinner or something. And then they sit down after a long days of work, dealing with people and children and projects and so on. And then they sit down to study for an hour or two every single night. Now, if this sounds like you, you're doing it all wrong. And you shouldn't be doing that because what you're studying, you're not going to retain it. So let me tell you guys what I do. So what I believe that people should do, now there's no scientific evidence for what I'm about to tell you because this is just going to be based on my opinion and what I spoke with with other students. I've been telling my students this for years and it seems to be working. The gist of it is this. I want you to stop studying in the evening. Don't study when you come home from work. It's never going to work because your mind is tired. And when you're studying, you're more likely to fall asleep. Uh, you probably still have people around your house that's awake. Maybe your children are still awake when you're studying. Or maybe your husband or your wife or spouse or whoever is still awake. So you have distractions and your mind is tired. Here's what I want you to do. If you study for two hours every night, what I want you to do is go to bed two hours earlier and wake up two hours earlier. So instead of studying from 10 to 12 and then waking up at seven in the morning, what I want you to do is go to bed at 12, wake up at five, and then study, uh, not, I'm sorry, go to bed at 10, wake up at five, and then study from five to seven, if you know what I mean. So instead of studying two hours in the evening, go to bed two hours earlier and just wake up two hours earlier. That way you study in the morning. Now I'm gonna tell you why this is effective in my opinion. You see, I do this all the time. Now keep in mind, guys, I have 65 certifications. I have taken over 100 certification exams over my entire career, and I find this method works really well. Here's why. Because in the morning, now I do four o'clock. I like waking up, at four. if I'm studying, I'm gonna wake up at four o'clock. I'm studying for an exam today, I woke up at four o'clock today. The reason why I do this in the morning is because the world is still asleep at four o'clock. There's no one to bother me. The, the wife's asleep, the kids are asleep, the business is shut down, the employees are not gonna bother me. Uh, the only person, or I should say thing, that's awake with me at four o'clock in the morning is the dog. And she comes and sits with me to study because she follows me everywhere I go. So. What, what happens at four o'clock is when I wake up at four o'clock, all I do, I go, I make some a big pot of coffee, got a nice coffee machine, got a Keurig machine or something, put on a nice hot coffee in the morning, I sit in the living room or I go to my office, and what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna take out my book, I'm gonna read something, I'm gonna watch something related to what I'm studying. Now the world is shut down, it's absolutely quiet, nothing is happening, and I can concentrate on what I'm studying on. I'm not tired because I've slept all night. And now what I've learned, I can think about it all day. This is one of the greatest benefits of studying in the evening. I'm sorry, in the morning, because now what you learn when you studied in the morning, you can actually apply that throughout the day, or you can think about it throughout the day. Versus if you study in the evening, you're just gonna go to bed and you probably forget most of it by the time you wake up. Remember, you studying, you should think of how to apply that so it stays in your brain. For example, if you're studying PMP and you're learning about a project management plan, it has all these components. If you think about it and then you go to sleep, you're gonna forget it all. But if you think about it and then you go to work and then you're saying to yourself, okay, this morning I read about all these different components that a PM plan has. And then you're saying, okay, maybe I can apply this to work or maybe I should be making this at work. You're thinking about it. You're thinking of how to apply it. You're gonna memorize it even more. 
So what I highly suggest for you to do is try this method. It may or may not work for you. And again, there's no scientific method on this. This is not something that I've looked up. I didn't research this video. All I did was I'm telling you what works for me. And it's worked for a lot of my students and I hopefully it's gonna work for you. So remember, here's what you do. Don't, tonight, if you're studying, don't stay up late and study. Go to bed early, get a good night's sleep, wake up earlier and then study in the morning. Hopefully you retain more of the information and hopefully this helps you to pass your exam a lot easier. And I'll see you in the next video.